So, let's talk about the one thing that is really just taking the whole country by shock. And that is this uh, whole thing with the fucking Taliban. Yeah. yeah. And you specifically wanted to talk to me about this. So I'm going to let you have the floor. What do you think about the Taliban taking over Afghanistan? Honestly, I see a lot wrong with that. And uh, But before I get to that, I want to talk about what's also going down in Taliban or what went down in Taliban. Well, apparently, they killed a woman there. Um, I guess she wasn't wearing a burqa. And I just read after, about they, that. Yeah, they they um they killed her because she wasn't wearing a burqa, which I don't know what the hell a burqa <laughs> is, honestly. I think it's that but, thing um, that goes over your head. Or is that a turpin? Oh, oh no, the turpin's for the men. Burka is for the women. I think that's how it goes. Okay. <laughs> well, apparently they vowed to respect their women. They broke that. That's not respecting a woman. It's by killing them. Just because they ain't put a burka on. It wasn't really a vow to um, respect women. It was a suggestion by... The national security advisor here for the United States, who looks like he fucking needs a nap. Let's be honest. Have you seen that guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he looks like he needs a goddamn nap. And he does. It, it was recommended by the national security advisor, all the feminists in our country, and of course Joe Biden. And yep. I was just like, I was like, well, why are you demanding that these people? who are known to chop off people's heads, be respectful to women. That just... Right. And... Right, huh? Did you see those videos of uh, all the people, like, trying to board the cargo planes? They're, like, running up next to it and shit? Actually, I, I did not catch that. Oh, my God. It is one of the most heartbreaking things. There were, like, first off... They were showing pictures of the cargo planes itself. It literally looked like the inside of a stadium. Like there were just people on top of people on top of people in the cargo plane. It's it's like I'm like, how how the fuck is this plane not crashed yet? Just <laughs> being be over fucking weight. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. And I me here's another thing I noticed too, Andy. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, you thought it was bad in the inside of the cargo planes? Look at the outside. Like, people are literally hopping on to the cargo planes as they're yeah. taking off. I seen, I seen a video a earlier um, where it was a bunch of people outside of a U.S. plane. Uh, it looked like a military plane. They was just surrounded. I don't mm -hmm. know what they were doing, but they were surrounded. They were trying. They were trying to like. They were trying to get a way out of there, you know. And there were motherfuckers that were holding on to the plane as it was like, like in takeoff, like as it was in the air, leaving the airport. Like, was they trying to like come here on the plane, or like what were they trying to do? Um, like that was the big. The, 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 they were trying to seek asylum, I guess, and oh, okay. basically bring them over to America. But there was another video that was shown. Um, I'm surprised that uh, link of that talk segment by Grant Stinchfield didn't show this. You know, of people, like I said, there were people on those planes. They were dangling onto those planes as they're like 3,000 feet in the air, and they just dropped. Wow. They fell. To their death. It wow. was literally like 9-11, where people were jumping off the uh, Twin Towers. Wow. It's just, it's like, all of this because of one mistake Joe Biden made. He made a huge fucking mistake, and I think it's going to cost this country, as well as everyone else, dearly right now. I want to hear your take. Biden has been 
just messing everything up um, since he's got in office. And I'm not trying to be on his side, and I'm not trying to be on <clears throat> the pussy crap side, but I, I, I label myself as conservative. I don't mm-hmm. consider myself as liberal. And you know, look, look, look at Joe Biden, for example. He's a goddamn liberal. Kamala he's Harris, always been a liberal. A liberal. Mm-hmm. All the Democrats, to me, is liberal. With a few exceptions, yeah. like Tulsi Gabbard, of course. You can tell that she has like her priorities in a good position. And here's the thing, too. It all started off with Trump doing that peace treaty with the Taliban that said, we're going to stop fighting in this country as long as you stop, put your guns down, and help the government. It was a 14-month peace treaty on the agreement that we would pull out when everything was stable. What happened when Biden got into presidency, Andy? I'll let you guess. He fucked everything up. That's what happened. The whole fucking area became unstable because Biden completely forgot about the agreement that Trump had made because, of course, they all hate Donald Trump. And, and then another thing, also, I, I haven't seen Biden done much about the whole, you know, uh, COVID thing. I don't want to say it he too is much way, YouTube. way out of touch when it comes to COVID. The only he, thing he I was, own- sorry, he was claiming to um, fix the situation, but I ain't seen him fix nothing. It's still going mm-hmm. on. Yeah, the only thing I ever saw Biden in was that live stream with uh, Fauci, those two influencers, and that one bearded motherfucker that was wearing the makeup and shit like that. But oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, whatever the guy's name is, I'm I don't shame. Uh, men want to wear makeup, go ahead. It's like just you're a fucking moron. The guy was a fucking moron. Anyway, it just. They basically took what Trump did, they forgot about it, and they let the Taliban uh, destabilize Afghanistan. And because of that, Andy, there's talks of China invading Taiwan because of what Uh, happened in Afghanistan. I just watched a video about that, actually. I think, wasn't it the video video. I sent you? Yeah, Yeah. I believe it was. If that happens, uh, you're right. We're going to hit World War Three, But the question on my mind, Andy, is who the fuck is going to be the good guy in World War Three? We know who the bad guys are. Yeah. But I'm, I'm telling quite... you this now. If, if World War Three does happen, I, I'm up and dodging. I'm leaving the country. I'm going to find a way out this motherfucker. I ain't <laughs> getting go... involved in that shit. <laughs> Let's go to Japan and eat some sushi, Andy. Eat, eat. <laughs> Either that, or I'm just going to have my do-rag laced up, and I'm going to go into an ammunition shop, and I'm just letting loose. I ain't going. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 the do-rag I'm and the combat you, boots? I'm telling you, they want World War III. I'm going to give them World War III, but I ain't going out. Uh, I ain't going mm-hmm. out. And like I said, where the my last question before I get off this... Where the hell are the European countries? Why hasn't the UK spoken out? Why hasn't, uh, I don't know, some of the more nationalist countries like Sweden or Denmark? Mm. Like, where where the hell are they? Because they're the ones that are going through COVID really well, exception of UK, because they're freaking mm-hmm. morons. You know it's just, I haven't heard anything about these other countries lately. It's just... I don't know. I I feel like we're hitting World War Three, but it's like, who the hell's the good guy? Because in this situation, Biden and China are not the good guys. They're not the lesser of two evils. Uh, I think what's going to happen is you're probably going to see a civil war break out, and then other countries are going to jump in. Other countries are going to be left scrambling. That is what the, I think only, about that. The only thing I'm worried about with World War Three is if it does happen, 
The first place it's going to hit is California because California is near the, the water. Also, they it's very weak. They always attack California before they attack any other city mm-hmm. or country. I, I noticed that. They always target California or possibly Florida, one or the other. Well, it wouldn't necessarily be Florida because Florida is is doing well for itself. DeSantis has done a good job, you know, running that state. California is fucking vulnerable. Like And then and then the damn governor down there fucking retorted. No, Gavin Newsom, they they're they're doing the recall on his ass. So there's that. They're doing yeah. Do you know Andy that they got seven dollars a gallon? For gas? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, no. They crazy. That's more than twice than what we're paying. 